world. My name is Beth and I invite you to subscribe to our channel to get regular UFO news updates and remember to hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest in UFO news. This next sighting comes out of Australia and a quick shout out to our new Australia fans of Shed Show Talk. We see you guys in our analytics and we appreciate you. We're so glad to have an Australian branch of Shed Show Talk so thanks for that. And uh, this sighting does come out of an area where we weren't able to secure a map. But what I can tell you is what went on in the background. And this person went out to walk their dog and thought they saw a bright star in the sky. But then it started to move fast. And like most people who see a UFO, they start to question what on earth they're seeing. Where is it? You will notice it flashing. UFO. There it's blinking quite rapidly. There's more than one! <gasps> wow. There's one over there, there's one over there. <laughs> Where's it gone? Still up there. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. Oh. Look at the color. Where's it gone? There it is. It's amazing. So as you can hear, what excitement, because not only did she see one, but she saw a few. And in this one, did you notice that rich blue color? Wow. <laughs> I mean, how exciting. I know so many people who have seen UFOs and the adrenaline starts pumping the moment this starts to happen. And that's why, you know, Paul and myself, Beth, we always like to say, hey, you guys, you know, keep your eyes to the sky and be ready to record because you never know what you're going to see. Our sighting is going to take us to Indiana to a place called Rolling Prairie. And when this person got home around 6 p.m., they noticed this bright orange light outside of their house. Let's just take a quick peek here to the maps. You can take a look around and see how close this place is to major cities and airports. That's something I always like to do. Um, but let's take a look at the footage. It's really quite exciting. And um, one of the things I noticed, you can see the orb right there. They said that it moved incredibly fast and that they kind of lost sight of it for a bit, but they actually commented that there have been other UFO reports in the area and it's been a super exciting time. But just check out the color on that. It will zoom in and out of the picture, but it will return. Now they did say it moves faster than any airplane they've ever seen and it did move tremendously quickly. And there's no trail off of it either, is there? Hmm. Wow, what a sighting. What a sighting. Okay, this next sighting takes us out of Atlanta, Georgia. And this is a very exciting UFO discovery. And I'll just give you a little bit of background. We do have a photo. We have a witness drawing and we also have a video of this and this just happened you guys and what they describe is seeing an orange light kind of move up vertically and they said it morphed and uh, essentially it morphed and started moving like a ball of light extending and coming back into a tighter ball of light and at one point they even said it looked like a strip of fire in the sky. But then get this, originally they only saw that, that one orange light ascending. Um, but then they started to see other lights appear and they perceived that at one point it looked like a V and that the other lights were completely fixed and stationary. They counted five orange lights in the V formation with one blue light underneath. And I'm not sure what that blue light was doing, but hopefully you can see it on your TV screens. And if you're having trouble seeing this on your mobile phone, I've noticed it a lot easier to pick up things from these video footages on the TV. Anyhow, they said once the lights were in final formation, they started hearing helicopters. And the helicopters came from two different directions from what they could tell, north and south, and it seemed that the helicopters were circling. But they wanted to let all of us know that this is a heavy high traffic area 
being close to a major international airport and they said during this whole thing they didn't see a single aircraft uh, they heard the helicopters and they saw these lights but they didn't see traditional airport traffic of any sort and the other weird thing you guys is that there were no reports about this in any of the news media the next day there's no traffic helicopter report no police report about a helicopter presence in the sky absolutely nothing and like they wrote they said this is one of the busiest airports in the nation so there's clearly something going on let's have a listen you should see the colors on the screen what this thing is in the top right's doing oh yeah look come over here look at the blue one underneath it oh what looks totally different on the screen than it does it really does and we're looking at coming in and out yeah i can't make that out with my eyes uh -uh. and the helicopters are over there oh they're that's clear as day now wow those are incredibly bright and clear and and able to see wow That's as far as I go, okay. This is wild, dude. What is going on in Atlanta, Georgia? It's just incredible. And did you hear how they described that what they were seeing wasn't on the camera and vice versa? That's very typical of UFO sightings. Little known fact is it's a lot of work taking a UFO sighting, so if you don't have a tripod, man, it can definitely wear and tear on the arm. But what an amazing sighting. I mean, can you believe what's going on here? It's just incredible. So thank you for those guys for snapping that video and uh, sending a, a drawing. And I'll post that drawing again so you guys can take a look now. Um, but they drew what they could see in the formation, and I could see the V and I call it the three, um, which sort of looks like a vertical Orion's belt. But that is incredible, and I can't wait to find out what you guys think is going on, because there's no way that's a satellite. I can't wait to read the comments on this one. It's just absolutely crazy. Okay, this next sighting takes us into North Carolina near Durham, and it takes place on a road called Shannon Road in a county. And you know what? If I say what county it is, I think I'm going to mispronounce it. It's spelled H-O-K-E. And I'm not sure if that's Hoke or Hokey. Anyhow, <laughs> let me know in the comments. In case you guys aren't done saying Orange Orb many times in a row, um, give Hoke County a try. Um, anyhow, so this guy's driving and he notices uh, through the trees what appears to be a light hovering over the horizon. And as he drove around and took a corner, he noticed that he saw two lights hovering. And when he got to work, he was telling some of his co-workers and a couple of them saw it also. Now, we don't know what this bright, very bright um, light slash fireball in the sky is, but if you guys do let us know, it is very bright, especially considering how overcast the day is. So let us know if you know what's going on in um, Hope County, North Carolina. Okay, our last sighting comes out of Australia. Thanks again, Australia. We love putting out videos from all around the world, and we love the support coming for Shed Show Talk out of Australia. So we started with Australia, we're going to end with Australia in this episode. And uh, this sighting comes out of Melbourne, and this is in Victoria in Australia. Gorgeous area, by the way. And uh, I've got a video I'm going to show you right now, and the premise is that somebody was stuck in their car and just took a video just to pass the time and when she got home and showed her mom the video they noticed this object in the sky and just before i play this video to you one of the things they mentioned is that when they rewatched it up close they were able to see that it appeared that perhaps there were other objects maybe one or two other objects appearing to dart around the main object really fast and they don't know how long the sighting went because she didn't initially notice this in the sky it was only when she looked at her camera that she was able to see it 
And again, this is something we hear a lot of where people see something with their eyes or with their camera, but not always both at the same time. Anyhow, let's let's have a little uh, listen here. It's up there in the top right in case you can't see it. Well, there you have it. That's another sighting in Melbourne, Australia. So thank you for submitting this to us. And you know what? We just want to give a huge thank you to all of our viewers and subscribers because of you guys, our channel is quickly growing and we want to say a giant thank you. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button and feel free to share our videos even through email or Facebook and get the word out there about the type of news we're reporting. And we do UFO reports on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays and we do reports and news articles on the paranormal, supernatural and anomalous on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thank you so much for your support. My name is Beth. I'm signing off. Remember to keep your eyes to the sky and be ready to record. See you next time. Stay safe.